Welcome to Living Clean in the Country, and welcome back to Day 5 of the 12 Days of Christmas Prep, where I give you ideas on how to get your house ready for Christmas. Today I'm going to show you how to make 4 festive drinks for you to enjoy for yourself or to enjoy with others. It was supposed to be 5 including a hot chocolate, but somehow the chocolate went missing. Not sure what happened there. To start, add one cup of frozen cherries, one peeled pear chopped up, and three cloves to a saucepan. Add two cups of water and bring to a boil. Once it has boiled, bring it down to a simmer until the pear is soft. At this point, taste to test it. If you want it sweeter, add some honey or sweetener of your choice. I didn't add anything because I really liked the sweetness that it was. Once the pear is soft, then strain it. You can enjoy this hot or cold. It is delicious either way. Next to a saucepan, add half a peeled orange cut up one peeled large apple chopped up and cook on medium heat for about five minutes. Add two tablespoons of maple syrup or sweetener of your choice. So here's where my camera died. So you won't see me adding two cups of water, three sticks of cinnamon and two cloves, but I did. <laughs> now bring this up to a boil. Once it has boiled, let it simmer for a few minutes, then strain and enjoy. Next to a pitcher, add two apples sliced up. I sliced mine into rounds to make it look nice. And two cinnamon sticks. Add six cups of water, and let it sit in the fridge for at least 30 minutes. This is a really refreshing flavored water. Last, one of my favorite drinks. I definitely don't just drink this during the Christmas season. Add the juice from one lime and the juice and seeds from two tablespoons of pomegranate seeds. top with carbonated water and enjoy. This is so nice and refreshing and just a nice drink to have all year round. I hope you give these recipes a try. If you do, tag me on Instagram. I would love to see. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe and we'll see you on the next one.